Many in the church have asked me why I haven't put out a message combating Pride Month. After a few years of doing this thing called social media, I've come to understand that putting out a message speaking to individuals who have no foundational idea of the truth I stand on is absolutely counterproductive and doesn't help. If anything, it only causes more divide and that's not my purpose. All I see in the month of June now is us versus them. And I get it. Christians and members of the LGBTQ community don't see eye to eye. What is the real issue? Well, the real issue is our differing belief systems. I live my life based on the truth and members of the LGBTQ community live their life based on their truth. The difference between my truth and their truth is my truth is based on what the Bible says and their truth is based on what they feel to be right. So instead of attacking a group of people because they don't believe the same as me, I'd rather simply communicate authentically and genuinely the truth on which I stand in the hopes of receiving the same respect those who disagree with me desire. I'm a Christian. I believe the Bible is the inspired word of God. I believe it to be absolute truth. Therefore, I do my best to live by what it says. In regards to the topic of same-sex relationships, the Bible calls it a sin. What is sin? Sin is any act that transgresses God's divine law. Sin is sin, and sin separates humanity from God. It's as simple as that. And there are a multitude of sins that humanity commits. No one is sinless, and since no one is sinless, we all need Jesus Christ. We all need to be reborn. We all need new hearts. We all need to be restored to our intended design. We all need to be saved, and it is Christ alone who has the power to save. And just to be clear, sin doesn't keep a person out of heaven. What keeps a person out of heaven is the unrepentant pursuit of sin and the rejection of God's provision for its forgiveness in Jesus' death and resurrection. In other words, no matter who you are or what you've done in your life, God's forgiveness is available to you and upon turning from your sin and trusting in Jesus for restoration, you can be saved. This is the long and the short of it, believe it or not. Let me clearly state, I have zero issues with how you respond to what I just said. Why? Because that is my truth. And my truth is rooted in what the Bible says, not what my heart says. The issue I have is that there is this narrative that is pushed in our culture that because I'm a Christian, I hate gay people. I speak for myself when I say, I don't hate gay people. I love gay people. Here's my heart. If hanging on to a sinful lifestyle that results in a dishonoring, harmful separation from God and his blessing, then the loving thing to do is to stay away from that sinful lifestyle and warn others to do the same. To encourage anyone to indulge in sin is to encourage them to reject God and his blessings on their lives. And that is actually the opposite of love. The truth is not that I hate anyone in the LGBTQ community. The truth is that members of the LGBTQ community hate the God I believe in because his word comes against their feelings and emotions. His word clashes with what they believe to be right. Therefore, anyone who stands on that word and speaks out against it is met with opposition. I will always say, it's your prerogative how you live your life. Just because I don't affirm your lifestyle doesn't mean I don't love and respect you. No matter how you choose to live, we can still be friends. I can love and respect you regardless of our differing values and truth. But here's the other side of the coin. Just because you don't affirm my lifestyle doesn't mean you can't love and respect me. No matter how I choose to live, we can still be friends. You can love and respect me regardless of my differing values and truth. Why? Well, because this is a two-way street. You see how this works? I mean, isn't the expectation for us to respect each other and treat each other equal? Isn't the big push in our culture for equality and equity? If that's the case, why are Christians demonized for standing firm in the truth they believe? Why is it such a problem for Christian parents to raise their kids up in the truth they believe? Why does that make those who don't agree with Christian values feel inferior? I close with this. Homosexual behavior won't damn a person any more quickly than pride or greed or adultery. Without Christ, we're all lost and damned to eternal separation from God, whether gay, straight, or asexual. But when we surrender our lives to the Lordship of Jesus, He gives us a new nature. He destroys the power that sin once held over us. The old nature that once dictated our actions has been conquered in a born-again child of God. Does temptation still rage? Yes. Does our weakness still torment us? Absolutely. But the power of the Holy Spirit helps us to resist Satan and overcome the sins that once held us captive. And here's the truth. Any person can choose a new life in Christ or keep the old life of sin. Life and death has been put before us. 
We must choose because we can't have both.